says Gemara Ksubis Adaf Adalid. We're holding on Gimel on the base. Four lines on the bottom. The Iba Yisema, the second explanation. But to get a quick recap of things, we're middle of discussing the end of the Bryce. So when this Basula gets married, we know the Mishnah taught us on Dalit on Wednesday. Why, if there's a Tainas Basula and they go to Bezdin on Thursday, we spoke about why not Monday. And then the Bryce here spoke about that there was a Sakana that they made all the girls sleep with the general first on a Wednesday. So they said, don't get married on Wednesday, get married on Tuesday. And the Bryce had concluded, but don't get married on a Monday. Then you're allowed to get married on a Monday. And the Gemara, about 10 lines to the bottom of the Ahmed, asked, What is this Aines that we're referring to? And the Gemara spoke about that you know what it is? It's that the Sarat Sva is coming to the city, that the general is coming. And not like the first part of the Bryce, and I'm sorry, I don't know if we honed in enough of this in the last year. Not that the first part of the Bryce that spoke about the Hegboin that had to sleep and have marital relations with the girl. No, the general's going to come. And Rashi, if you look at Rashi, 10 lines from the white lines, Rashi speaks out, And he's going to ruin the party. He's going to take all the food. So that's the reason why that's the Oynes that would allow you to get married on a Monday. But now we continue, V by Yisema, four lines from the bottom of the Gemara, says another case that you'd be allowed to get married on a Monday. My machvas Oynes, Kiritania, as we learned in a Braisa. There was a case, the wedding was all prepared, the bread was ba- the bread was baked, excuse me, and all that needed to be slaughtered was slaughtered. The Yenai Mazik and the one was diluted, and Rahman and Ramis Avishal Khasan Imashal Kala, and the father of the Khasan, the mother of the Kala, was Nifter. What do we do now? The wedding's waiting to happen in Aive, Rahman al the Khasan, the Kala is about to be. And Avil, you know what you do, says the Gemara. You take the mace and you bring the mace into a side room. And then you know what you do? You allow them to get married. Before we turn over to today's daf of Dalim and Aleph, we must pause for a moment and see the last Rashi on the Ahmed. Says Rashi, As the Gemara will explain, we're talking specifically the father of the Chassan, he prepares the meal, the mother of the Kala, she prepares the jewelry and the makeup for the Kala. If we, if we miss this moment, we have a big problem. There's no father of the Chas, there's no Yim of the Kala. Who's going to make the suit? Who's going to get her jewelry? Who's going to make her dress nice? So what happens? The Tirua Lahem, the Chazal allowed to do the following. When Rashi, two lines at the end of the Ahmed, to take the dead body and bring it to a side room, don't Bury the body. Why? Tim Kain Khalavila Zalavila Bistima Zagoilel. As we're gonna see at the end of today's year, Misiata Dishmaya. When does Avila start? Avilas begins, says the Gemara, says Rashi over here on the bottom, when the body is buried in the steam is like the grave is covered. But if the body's not buried, if we keep the body in a side room, they don't become Avilim. And then they'll be allowed to get married. If the body is buried, then they become Avilim. You can't have a chasana. So we purposely go and and we move the mace to the side room to allow the chassan and kala to get married. And now we turn over to Dalit Amad Aleph. And the Brisa continues. Ubayil bilas mitzvah and the chassan and kala sleep with each other the first time. Upayrish. And after that first intimate relations, what happens? They separate from each other. And then what happens? Rashi speaks out. What's this upayrish? The top Rashi says, now you bury the body. Now you bury the body. Why? We just said a moment ago. As soon as you bury the body, they become avelim. They become mourners. Says Rashi, no. Because once the wedding began, now it's like a yamta for them. And the Avelis won't be chal, and you'll be allowed to have the Sheva Bracha. Such an important thing to realize. A wedding's a yomtif. So once the wedding happens, the chasen and the kal, they're middle of yomtif for themselves. And therefore, <coughs> we're able to bury the body right now. And continues the Gemara of Enoik Shivas Yimeha Mishnah. We have the Sheva Brachas. Va'achar kach. Then we do have Elos. And during those days, the man, the husband and wife are not allowed to be together. They have to stay separate. There's a problem of Yichud, says the Gemara. As Rashi quotes, and he sleeps with the man and she sleeps with the woman. But now the Bryce concludes with a few more halachas. For all 30 days, and Rashi says, this really means even more than the 30 days. It's a kol shikane that we don't the Kala, she just got married. We make her get dressed up. You put on makeup, but you're an Avel. Doesn't make a difference. It's more important in the beginning of your wedding. And now the Gemara concludes five lines to the bottom of Dalit and Aleph. 
Specifically, we're referring to the father of the chasen or the mother of the bride, like we saw in the bottom in Rashi. Why? It's like in the tarich because there would be no one else to do those actions. There's no father to make the wedding, no mother to make the jewelry and the makeup. Avol ibcha loy, and that's the end of the brisa. So when the brisa yesterday, and as we started off today, said that if there's an inus, an unavoidable mishap, then you're allowed to get married on a Monday. What is that unavoidable mishap? For Achmanus Litzlan, the father of the Chas, for Achmanus Litzlan, if the father of the Chas, the Ima of the Kala, is Nifter, that's an unavoidable mishap. So boom, right now, it's Monday. We don't get married on Mondays. Yes, we do. In this scenario, put the mace in the side room, quickly have the Chas, and so that so they don't become Avelim. They could sleep with each other, have the Bias Mitzvah, then they're going to separate, and then they'll still be allowed to have the Sheva Brachis. Says the Gemara, let's go a little bit deeper into this Brisa. Amar Rav from our Baba, Amar Rav Chista, about eight lines into Dalit Amar Alif, Leishanu El Shalinas and Mayim Al Gabe Basar. This whole din that we're allowing this whole interesting chasna to happen with the dead body waiting in the side room is only Shalai Nasan Mayim Al Gabe Basar. They did not put the water on the meat. Excuse me, they put the water on the meat. If they didn't fully prepare the meat yet, just sell it. What's the big deal? We're only allowing this to happen because we're concerned that we're going to have no one to create the chasana. But if there's a way to sell the food and then you'll be able to buy it again, says Rav Chista, that's what you have to do. And on my Rav, and on a similar vein, says Rav, and if you're in a city, even if you put the water on the meat, you still have to sell it. Why? Explains Rashi, because there's always people around to buy things, which would translate now these. Of course, you could sell it and start again. So that's what you have to do. And Amar Ababa, similarly, Ubikfar, Avobisha Loinos and Mayim, the opposite extreme. Agabe Basar, Loim is Davin. And on the Kfar, it's going to be the opposite. That even though the water is not placed on the meat, you're not going to sell it. Why are you not going to sell it? Because it's a small town. So even though you didn't put the water, you're still going to be allowed to make the chasna. But says the Gemara, But what's the case of Rav Chista? Meaning, Rav Chista said what? That But now Rav and Rav Papa, neither of them have Rav Chista. Because according to Rav Chista, that once you put the water on it, if you didn't put the water on it, excuse me, you're going to have to sell it. But according to Rava, according to Rababa, what does it all have to do? It has to do with either the cities that you're in. As Rashi speaks out, loy bekrach v'loy bekvar. Answers the Gemara, Amar Ravashi, kon masya mechasya, Dimafka mikrach umafka mikfar. Says the Gemara, you know what's going on? We're going on with mas, that was going on, excuse me. We're referring to a city and in between city, it's not a krach and it's not a kfar. It's a masya mechasya. It's a place that's in between a krach and in between a kfar. Says the Gemara, Tani Kavase de Rav Chista. Now we have a Bryce that proves what Rav Chista point. Again, what was Rav Chista's point? Let's hone in and not get lost in the details. Rav Chista's point was that this whole din that we allow this interesting wedding to have happen is only if mamish everything is ready to go, the meat is watered and ready to be done. But if not, you could revo- if you could avoid the situation, you could sell the meat and restart, that is what you should do. Says the Gemara, we have a right to that point, Rav Chista, we see a brisa that says, and this brisa adds in a line, the line of Rav Chista, that's the line, that's a right to Rav Chista, we see the brisa speaks out explicitly that the water is on the meat. And that's the end of the Brysa, basically mimicking the exact same Brysa that we started off today with, but it's a right of Chisla because it threw in that extra case. Not only the bread is baked and the meat is shechted and the wine is diluted, but it's also that the, wa- that the meat is watered. Says the Gemara, and actually before we continue, we're in the middle of a Brisa, I just want to show one Rashi over here. Rashi about 10 lines into the narrow lines. Rashi just speaks out. We're talking about putting water on meat. What does that mean? Rashi says, Once you put the water on the meat, you no longer can sell it in the marketplace. But now we're back into the Gemara. 
We're in the middle of a brisa. We're about 12 lines at the bottom. The first word in line is Ha'anashim. Says the Gemara, V'chein. And everything that we just spoke about, Misha Pirsa Ishtay Nida, the same thing as Pirsa Ishtay Nida, seemingly, seemingly, excuse me, referring to the din that we just said, that when we have Avelim, when we have and Kala, one of them is an Avel, we do not allow them to be together and they have to sleep separately. Same thing by Anida, who Yashem in Anashim, Yishina, Bein Anashim, one sleeps with the man and one sleeps with the woman. Of course, we know that, just to point out, that's not the Pesach Galacha, we do not bask in that by Anida, there's an Isra Yichad, but we will discuss this more at length as we go along, exactly the case we're referring to. The Gbraisa continues, and we do not hold back the Tachshitim for the Kala all 30 days. And uh, whatever which way you're referring to says the end of the Gbraisa, something that we're going to talk more about in tomorrow's year, when are you not allowed to have the first Bia? So that was the end of the Braisa. And this last part of the Braisa, we're going to deal with in tomorrow's daf. But now, says the Gemara, let's go back. So we, we dealt with our original question. Again, what was our original question? What is the Oynes? What is the Oynes in which you're allowed to get married on a Monday? Yesterday's Braisa began, you normally get married on a Wednesday. Sakana, you're allowed to get married on a Tuesday. Don't get married on a Monday. But in Oynes, you get married on a Monday. What is that Oynes that allows you to get married on a Monday? Yesterday, we had one shot that the general's going to come and grab all the food. Today we have another shot. What's the unavoidable mishap? Father, of that they become Avelim, and therefore you have to make the chasana right now. And within quoting the braces, we brought out a din, a din that the husband and wife cannot be together. There's an iser yichud. Says the Gemara, Amar Mar, about 10 lines to the bottom of Dalit Amar Aleph. Hu yashin bin ha'anashim, hu yashin v'hi yashin bin ha'anashim. Says the Gemara, Messiah leila Rav Yechanan. That statement is a riot to Rav Yechanan. Tamar Rav Yechanan, Avel Bish, even though we said even though we said that there's no din of Avelus during Cholamayid, during, excuse me, not Cholamayid during the Yom Taivim this is reminiscent of the Gemaras we learned recently in, not so recently, in Mayid Katan that there's a concept that even though there's no Avelus, but it's only in the public there's no Avelus, but the Varim Shaltsina, things that you do in the privacy of your home, and as Rashi speaks out, that is not recognizable to people, why? Because it's in the privacy privacy of your home, there is a concept of Avelos. And that's the reason why by the Avelim, they have to separate and have an Isra Yichod, because there is a level of Avelos Vitsina. Darish Rav Yosef, says Rav Yosef, Brei Derav, excuse me, Brei Derav and Mishmei Derav, Laishanu, this din is Elosh, Laibal. That's only if they never had the original Tashmish, the husband and wife, were not together for the first time. That's the case that there's going to be an Isr Yichod, Avelim. Baal. Once they had the original Tashmish, once the husband and wife were together at least once, his wife could sleep with him. Rashi over here points out that what's going on over here, the reason is, um, excuse me, no, it's not Rashi over here. Fine. That actually, excuse me, it is Rashi. Thank you. Rashi about eight lines to the bottom says, Al Shlabal the Takafli Yitzray. If this Hassan and Kala, the first time they got married, first time. They got married, and they haven't slept together, and then, unfortunately, there's a situation of Avelos, that's when there's an Isra Yichud, because they never had relations even once. But if they already were together once, then says the Gemara, says Rav Yosef, there's no Isra Yichud. Ask the Gemara the obvious question that everyone here is screaming at their screams. The case of the original Brisa was that they had Tashmish, it said on the top of the Ahmed. Vikatani, and yeah, what did the Brisa say? Answers the Gemara, no. It's true, and this is what we pointed out when you read the Brisa. It's true that the Brisa is Vechain, and similarly, Misha Bir Sayishtoy Nida. But says the Gemara, Kika Amar, when did it was referring to a Bir Sayishtoy Nida? Kika Amar, when did Rabba say this difference was by Pirsai Ishtai Nida? And he was not necessarily, as Rashi of here points out, five lines to the bottom, Rabba lo Yishana Pirsai Ishtai Nida Kamar. The Kima de Nida Chamura, Baal Mehemin Allah, Allah says, Azul Abisa Kareis. The reason why there is no Isra is because we're talking about the case of Yichod and not the case of 
of Avilos. Why? Because Avilos is a Dinder Abonon. And because Avilos is a Dinder Abonon, we have to be more Machmir on that as the Gemara is going to develop itself in the in a, in a moment in Amad Beis. Ask the Gemara, Ha-Bechein Ketani. What did the Brisa say? That Bechein, that the first part of the Brisa that spoke about Avilos, Bechein, Misha Pirsa Yishtai Nida, and similarly, if his wife becomes an Edus, what do we see? It's the same thing. Bechein. Halacha part A of the Brisa is Halacha part B of the Brisa. And yet, what did you just tell me? You just told me that you want to differentiate between a case of Avelus, which is Drabon, and an Ido, which is more Chamer. Answers the Gemara as we turn over to Dalad and Mebez. This is what the Brisa means. That if you have a case of Anida in which there was and never a Tashmish, they never were together, then there'll be an Iser Ichod. Says the Gemara, one second. Based on what we just said, what's the math? Lameimra, three lines from the top. The Avil is kila leminida. What comes out of what we just said? That Avil is more the kila is more lenient than nida. Ask the Gemara one second. Anything that a woman's allowed to do for her husband, they need does allowed to do for her husband. And of course, they need is a woman that sees her period, that has her sees menstrual dam, menstrual blood. She is a need and she's allowed to do everything for her husband, says the Braisa. Except for what? Except for the intimate acts of mixing the cup for her husband, making the bed for her husband or washing your husband's face, hands, and legs. That's by Anita. V'ilu gabi avilus. Now let's look at the parallel, because we're trying to prove right now that you said on the bottom of the Ahmed that Avilas is more lenient. Ask the Gemara one second. Let's look at the dinam in parallel. Says the Gemara, so when it came to Anita, what is she allowed to do? Make his bed. Excuse me, what's she not allowed to do? Pour his wine, make his bed, and wash his hands and face. V'ilu gabi avilus. What is he by Avilas? Tani afal bishamru. Eno dem rashi lakofis ishto liyos toichas liyos by sec. By kesses. Even though you cannot force your wife to put on makeup when she's in Avila, the MS Amru, but yet they said, she still pours him a cup, and she's allowed to uh, wash his hands and feet. And we're not worried. So what do we see? When it came to Anida, we do not allow the Nida to do these things to her husband. When it came to Avelus, we allow the Avel to do these things to her husband. So what do we see? We see that obviously people are more Careful about what? About Avelos. Because by Avelos, we're more meek. Again, it's a little bit of a slightly counterintuitive. So let's explain. By Avelos, if we're more lenient, what does that mean? That means people at large view it more stringent. Therefore, we are allowed to let the woman make her husband's bed, pour him a drink, wash his hands and legs. Why? Because people view Avil as very chummer, and they're not going to actually come, husband and wife, to be together. But yet, by Nida, obviously, people don't view it that way, and that's we have to be more stringent, and we have to tell the Nida, wait, slow down, don't make his bed, don't wash him. So that's the opposite of what we just said. We just said a moment ago that, that Avelus is more lenient in the eyes of people, but we see here the opposite. We see Nida is more lenient in the eyes of people. Answers the Gemara, like Kash. A very fundamental difference. Kamba Avilas Diday, Kamba Avilas Dida. Very, very different. When he is in Oval, then we're not so concerned. Why are we not so concerned? Because he's the one with the Yitzhahara. When she is the Oval, actually, you know what? Let me, I, I don't want to say it that way. Let's let Rashi speak it out. As Rashi so eloquently speaks out, Rashi lines into the narrow line says, Kamba Avilas Diday, La'aylam Avilas Kilam Enida. The Gemara is saying, really, Avilas morning is more lenient than Enida. This is how you have to answer it. That's what we learned to Yashmin and Nashim that they have to, they have to sleep separately is when he is in Oval. And that which we said that she's allowed to pour him a drink and she's allowed to make his bed is when she is in Oval. Why? Because the price has said you can force her to get dressed. Force her, excuse me, force her to put on makeup. Obviously, she is the one that's the Oval. So what do we see? Alma says Rashi. Ain't no like she doesn't want to put on makeup. She's an novel. That's the same reason. Because she is the Avela. That's why we allow her to do these actions. She's allowed to pour him a cup, make him a bed. Why? Let's say your husband gets his eight Sahara burns on him, even though he knows he's not allowed to do anything with his wife while she's an Avela. But unfortunately, he gets the better of himself. But slow down, says Rashi. Kim Davilas, he does. She's an novel. He who ain't no 
Loi, she is not going to listen to him. So says the Gemara is a fundamental difference. Who is the Avela? Who is the one that we have to be concerned about? When he is the Avela, that's when we have to be much more stringent. Because even though he's an Avel, then he might, uh, his Yitzhahara might burn in him and he's going to go and do something with his wife. But when she's an Avel, we're allowed to be more lenient. Why? Even though in general, Avelis is more makel. In general, we have to be more stringent with the laws of mourning because people do not view it with the same level of severity as Nida, but by an Avelo, when she is an Avul, then we don't have to be concerned, because she is not going to let him do anything. Ask the Gemara one second. We spoke about clearly in the Brisa, both halves, the father of the Chasen, the mother of the Kala. Answers the Gemara, no, Kikitani Asher, that's referring to the rest of the Brisa. Ask the Gemara fundamentally, what did we just finish saying for the last five minutes, that there's a clear distinction between him being an novel or her being a novel. <coughs> Ask the Gemara. About 12 lines down, the first one line, it's Katani. Is there really a difference? For Atani, we have a Bryce. A Bryce that explicitly says, If someone's father-in-law or mother-in-law is Nifter, And meaning his wife is an Avila, you can't force her to put on makeup. The husband who's not an Avil has to flip over his bed and he has to be an Avil, he has to be in mourning with his wife. And here's the clincher, says the Braissa. If her father law or mother law is Nifter, meaning his father or mother, ain't no Rashaylius Khazli's by guesses. She can't put on makeup. One second, she's not a novel. He's novel. She can't put on makeup. So what do we see clearly in this Braissa? We see clearly in this Braissa. That they're too equal. They're the same of his Avilas and her Avilas on the same playing field. The Bryce does not mention that there's any difference if he's an Avil versus her being an Avil. The Bryce clearly puts them on the same playing field. But according to what we just said, there should be a clear distinction. Answers the Gemara, you have to add in words in the Bryce. Uh, Tony, throw in, Avilas D day. When he's an Avil, we have to be more careful. The same Kasha we asked before, the Bryce says, seemingly that part A and part B are equal. That's talking about getting make, get, putting on the makeup, putting on the eyeshadow, but it's not referring to all the halachas. It says that they sleep imai with him. My love imai bemito that they're in the same bed, that they're not sleeping in separate rooms. No, you love imai bebayis that they're allowed to be in the same house. The rav told chia's son that a pa in front of her naigavilusa to lay ba ba lo tin You have to just be together with her in mourning. You're not really an avil; she's the avil. But when you're with her, that's when you have to be in mourning. Rav Ashi Amar, which is the second teretz, me kamedamis avilusa da hachla avilusa da alma. What's going on over here? Says Rav Ashi. Are we equating avilus regular avilus to our case of avilus avilusa da alma chamer in a normal case of avilus? A normal case of mourning, people are strange with him. We don't have to worry about it. We don't have to create an Isr Yichod. Because people view mourning with a high level of severity. But But in our case of Avelos, excuse me, in our case of Avelos, even that kilu rabbanon. In our case of Avilus, there were special leniencies. They made allowed a whole chasna to happen. They allowed them to be together. So in that case, that's the one case that we have to treat it. The people might come to mezals, and therefore we have to be more machmir. Ask the Gemara, my kula, what is the leniency that we gave in this case? You know why? That's the kula that what we allow the husband and wife to be together. The reason is it's not a Avelos yet. It's not a leniency in Avelos, it's that they're not Avelim yet. Either Avelim has there, because why, when does Avelos happen? This is what we started off at the beginning of this year in that first Rashi. Ajiyasa miftach mi bivas chabai is either Avishu Ajiyasa magailo. Even if you're on the way to do the burial or when the body is in the grave. So there's no Avelis yet. So what is the leniency that we have to be more machmir in our case? You know what the Kula is? That we allow them to first do the Shavar Brachas. We said, ah, once you start, you do the Shavar Brachas only afterwards as Avelis. So this type of Avelis seems strange. The, the burial was seven days ago. And only now you're doing Avelis. So that type of Avelis, we have to be super careful about. And that type of Avelis, there is an Isra Yichod. Whereas in normal Avelis, you're not. That's the second answer according to Rav. Ashi will pick it up from Amramar in the next year. Bisyata Dishmayo.